Why are you so determined to bring me to this competition? Why don't you bring Wilson? Wilson thinks it's stupid. I think it's stupid. Junior year of high school, you placed fourth in the West Virginia All-County Science Fair. Your project? Clean combustion. Yeah, I also wore a training bra. Things have changed. Not that much. I've been going to this contest for four years. For four years, I've come second to a pissant named Harold Lamb. This is serious? Second. <clears throat> okay. I can help you, but I'm going to need to make a personal stop along the way. What kind of stop? Personal. Did I not mention that? This thing's got no fuel valve. Means you can't regulate the input. What is this, a barbecue lighter? Your gun sucks. How do they not have half-inch drill bits? By the way, Harold's probably gonna hit on you. Everything I have, he wants. Turn him down flat. Unless... Yes. Let's stop shopping. I'll just do him and get him to throw the contest. Well, that's it, just... Did you do that? How's this thing judged? Hang time, distance, accuracy. Okay, how about this? I met a guy in a club. You brought him home. He OD'd. So the guy now writhing on his front porch was the dealer who sold you the faulty goods. Categories weighted the same? Yep. Screw accuracy, we're gonna double distance and hang time, beat Harold on point. We need raw power. Where's the fertilizer? By all means, Kaczynski. Okay, Kaczynski, now over for practice. We got one out, half plus. Schedule 80 PVC is pressurated for 220 PSI. Fuel valve 300. We can easily push it to 250. Have your friend Harold clean his pants. Jacket on you. Thanks. You filled out a little. Who's a babe? She's the boot in your ass. Perhaps you've heard of famed Russian physicist Olga Petrovich. Olga Petrovich is 72 years old. And her granddaughter works in a little place called JPL. I did an internship there last summer. She killed a man. No. I'm guessing she didn't do it with a spud gun. Bad combustion valve. Shut up. coming from the southeast. We have to aim five degrees to the left. We're gonna break 14 seconds, I can feel it. When I was 10 or 11, my dad used to take us to this county fair. And there was this kid. What? Who's us? My mom and me. Your mom, who had advanced stage hunting kids. You have a sibling that you've never mentioned. Why did you slip up now? Not everything means something. We're gonna be up soon. I wanna check the pressure. You don't wake up in the middle of the night to cry over a dead stranger. 
you don't confess to killing a man and then hide the details unless the details reveal more about you than the crime itself. Pled down to drugs. You've got a horrible genetic disease and a sibling who's suddenly on your mind. You euthanized your brother. And that guy back at the house was the doctor who wouldn't help you cover it up. The guy back at the house is my cellmate's boyfriend. He cheated on her when she was inside. But I was right about everything else. Congratulations. in Schenectady. Ouch. You mind if I make a move? I know she's out of my league, but she's at a spud gun contest with a soon-to-be five-time runner-up, so she's probably got some self-esteem issues. You wouldn't. you a warning? Well, it turns out our friend Harold felt up the sheriff's daughter last night at the potato mash mixer, so the sheriff's feeling kind of ambivalent. You always get your way, don't you? Not always. Today would have been our one-year anniversary. Mm. Which is an incredibly arbitrary thing to celebrate. If you want to get to the bottom of something, you literally have to dig down to the bottom. 